hello my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen if this is the first time that you are seeing me i thank you so much for stopping by my return subscriber from me to you i love you so today did you guys hear the good news <laughs> did you guys hear the good news that iboho iboho <clears throat> the guy like namdekano Iboho has been released. Iboho has gone back to the family. I think they say he's in either UK, London or something. <clears throat> but he's been released. So I saw a video, even though the video is being said, it, he's saying it. He said some of it in English, but he said most of it in Yoruba. Where he's thanking all the Yoruba politicians, all the big, big people that fought with everything they got. Let us keep start going home all the people i love talking to you guys when i'm driving you know it makes me uh, keep straight to what i am doing so iboho was seen thanking thanking all the people that worked so hard to get him released uh just like namdekano that they came and then namdekano is still in jail namdekano is still in in jail gosh this sound is too much so but why i'm making this video is that he called Igbo people Igbo people you 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 blame everybody you are marginalized you are this you are that they didn't do this for you and you have the audacity to come out in the public and talk you guys should be ashamed of yourself did, this man did not hide did not hide it at all he came out in the open and he thanked all the politicians all the including uh, Shoyinka he called their names <laughs> you know why he is thanking them you know why they, they helped him with everything they have it's because he's a Yoruba man they did everything in their power to make sure that he is released now he's released and he has gone back to his family and he swore that he will walk in short I, I i i was so happy when i saw that so that's why i am making this video to ask Igbo people how far instead Igbo people will work hard i'm even thinking that uh, the so-called Igbo people i have always known that uh, Simeon Ekpa and using Simeon Ekpa to keep Nam Dekano in jail. So the only thing that they they were able to succeed in doing in in uh, Biafra land is to tie people at home and tell them not to go to work. Instead, oh my God, oh Jesus, God help me. So now there was a time that Nam Dekano Nam Dekano said in one of his uh, uh, program and said let me tell you guys something that Igbo people Igbo people Igbo politicians are the problem that he has in one of his uh, uh, thing but instead Igbo people will do everything in their power to make sure that Namdekano is released it does not matter what they do if you don't know you find out how Yoruba people get uh, Iboho released instead they use Namdekano's name to make money to make their own names they're like his own name is already made so why should we tie our life down just like um, simon Eka said uh, uh, that we are not because of one man we are we will not because of one man and stop what we've been working so hard for all of them all of them are making videos sharing money whose head will be in the in the one one dollar now whose hand will be in the money whose uh, whatever will be in the money they are busy i'm forgetting that nam the colonel is in the prison and nobody is talking about him and they will come and say that they are marginalized the mouth that all of you are using you guys should be ashamed of yourself and whatever you get from anybody you deserve it because you have not shown that you love yourself uh, Iboho is thanking the Yoruba people for making sure, doing everything 
in their power to make sure that he comes out and he is very very grateful what would namdekano say about you when he comes out namdekano will put a curse in every one of you because if i were namdekano now hmm, i will just Take whatever the government gives me and get the hell out of there and tell you guys to go and F yourself. Go and F yourself. Because all the, because all the politicians in Biafra land has turned against him. All the politicians in Biafra land has used him. All the politicians in Biafra land, I don't know what they are afraid of. Because guess what? When you are doing the right thing, you should not be afraid of anybody. You should not be afraid of anything. Because your good work will be the thing that will speak for you. Just that like, the good work of uh, Peter Obi is what is speaking for him. So nobody, none of you has come out, done nothing for Nam Dekano. And Yoruba people or Muslim or Christian, they won't be the one to do it. They will say, okay, Igbo people, they're not doing anything for their um, brother to be released. Why should we kill ourselves? So I just got that good news. I am so happy for Iboho. I am so happy that he is released. I pray that one day Namdekano will be released. I pray to God that Namdekano will be released because he did absolutely nothing. Whatever it is that they accusing him is only what he said with his mouth. He never hurt anybody. He never went uh, to anybody and hurt them. But the Igbo people have hurt him beyond measure. The Igbo elite have hurt Namdekano beyond measure. The Igbo elite, if there's, I don't know uh, the kind of language that I want to use on them. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to use it without, without them saying that, oh, you don't have respect for your elders. Let me tell you, if we have elders, Namdekano will not be in, still be in jail. If we have elders, if we have elite, all they care about is their money, all they care about is uh, their names that they are using Namdekano to make to make money. Because it's the same elite I can bet you with everything I have. If investigation will go on, you can, I will tell you that it's the same Igbo elite that are using, uh, that are making sure that Namdekano don't come out. They don't even speak about him anymore. They don't speak about him anymore. They don't talk about him anymore. They don't give a damn about him anymore. Somebody is sitting somewhere just using his name to make people sit at home and don't care and don't care and don't care. So I just want to come and tell you guys that uh, when you are doing something, protest, uh, persistent in action, even in the Bible, eh? even in the Bible, one woman asks and asks this king and asks and asks and this king got so tired of hearing this uh, woman every day bother him and he said i beg make could not find give this woman what she's looking for this woman don't bother me enough but our own our own brother has been in jail getting to three years and nobody cares nobody none of the elite cares about what Namdekano is going through and it's very very sad so for those of you that are still thinking that Iboho is still in jail nope he's not in jail he's out and he's proud to let you know that it was his Yoruba brothers and sisters it was his Yoruba uh, the Yoruba elite the ones that fought for him and he's so grateful now he's released so now what excuse would you guys have for not coming out knowing that to talking about something over and over it works fighting for something that you believed in you cannot say that you believe in Enam Dekano and you are not fighting for him you are not asking the so called people that are holding him take him and let him go you are not asking that all you care about is what you can get 
all you care about is your name that you are trying to uh, build with his name why he stays in jail and suffer so he will congratulation and all the people that helped to make him come out congratulation for thank you for making him come out thank you uh, please the same way that you guys spoke about Iboho please speak about Nam Dekano so they can release him he's a Nigerian he's our brother too whether you are Aousa whether you are Igbo whether you are Yoruba no matter where, what part of Nigeria that you are from when one person is hurt all of us should be hurting it bothers me all the time I said what can I do what can I do I don't know what I can do so they can release in Nabdekano I don't know what else I can do other than the way that I am talking about it on my channel I have done a couple of videos about Nabdekano on my channel I pray to God that someday that the elite in Igbo land will put their mouth about Nnamdekano, that somebody from Nigeria will talk about Nnamdekano so that they can release him, so that Nnamdekano can have freedom just like every one of them. So I just saw this news about Igbo being released. I thought I'd bring it here so that you guys will know that persistence in asking for something pays. Mwah, from me to you. Thank you so much for watching.